A new ban list just dropped and soon we are gonna get a new set as well. Dark Wing Blast. Here are my 5 favorite cards from Dark Wing Blast, as well as 5 cards that I really don't like in this set. First, Majesty Pegasus the Draco Slayer. This is Magispector as well as Draco Slayer support. It gives all your Draco Slayers Dragoon level protection if you discard it from your hand. It's a search in the scale and if you special summon it, it can add a field spell, Secret Village, from your deck to the hand. This is a really, really cool card and I think it's gonna make both Magispector as well as Draco Slayer way better. Bisted Magnemon. This is basically a DD Crow, but it's a buddy on the field as well and it can search you any dragon monster in the end phase. It's just such a cool card. Next, Naturia Mole Cricket. This can summon up to two monsters from your deck as a quick effect and it can special summon itself from the graveyard. Like, what? And when it summons itself from the graveyard, it doesn't even banish itself when it leaves the field. You can just do this over and over. It's such a cool card and I love to see Naturia support. Final Battle at Golgonda. This is great in stall or back row decks or in any deck that plays a defend the castle strategy. It's one protection per turn and that's not even a hard ones per turn, so you can just play two copies of it. And it's Spring Gans support for some reason and it f extra foolish burials you branded monsters from the extra deck to the graveyard. Like you can get an Albion to the graveyard this way. It's a really cool card and just the blanket protection thing is... is kind of busted. Like you can just play this at 3 in Mystic Mind for example. Hear me out, this might be a hot take, but Psychic Rover is a really good card unironically. It has no once per turn at all, it can in theory summon itself infinite times, it can give you in theory infinite pops as long as your die rolls are somewhat good, and it's a Psychic level 2 so it might be playable in sprites and it has low level psychic support like e -Tally, for example. It's it's just a cool card. Also it's a dark so it has dark monster support as well. Uh, I might have already uh, built an FTK with this card because it's really really cool. Now my five least favorite cards in Darkwing Blast. First, Spirit Gyu Comeback Horse. I I don't know why this exists, it's just so weird and even for no cost the effect wouldn't be good at all or even playable. Best case you can tribute summon this and then it's a non-activated effect that sends it to the graveyard so you can out Mystic Mine or something, but it's still a horrible card. Upside down, uh, this goes minus one. It's really slow because it's a trap and there's no reason to play this above anything else. Like just play Reckless Greed instead. Play play a good trap because you're playing a trap deck. Play play anything, but just don't play upside down. Laughing Puff and the Jester Bird. This bounces a spell or trap on the field, but you have to tribute a winged beast as cost. And it's not even a quick effect unless all your monsters are winged beast monsters. And then you think, oh yeah, maybe maybe I can I can bounce my Blackwing continuous spells with this. But you can't activate the card you bounced yourself for the turn. Like, what? You, you at first at first look you think this is Blackwing support, but it, it isn't. It, it doesn't work. It's a horrible card. Like, I, I guess you have a quick effect worse than MST if you tribute another winged beast monster. For cost, if all your monsters are winged beasts, but at that point just, just play Cosmic Cyclone, just play MST, play Twin Twister, like, what is this? Hanshin Kyudo Spirit. This or normal summon adds you any monster with 2400 attack and 1000 defense from your deck to the hand. The problem is, this is a level 5 monster and it has to bounce a card you control to activate this effect. Like, it's, it's not a good card. Best thing about this card is that it has a somewhat decent scale, but that's about it. And finally, Aramatia the Forbidden Spell. This summons an adventure token for the low low cost of discarding one card from your hand and then it still locks you into monsters that list the adventure token. It's 
just not a great card. Like if if you play this in a dedicated deck, maybe, but it's completely unplayable in anything that splashes the Brave Engine. And even in a dedicated deck, it's not a good card. I hope you liked this video. If you have any cards in Darkwing Blast that you really like or that you really dislike or that disappointed you, post them in the comments. I'm curious what cards sparked your interest or what cards you were kind of disappointed with. Until then, see you in the next video.